When we have passwords, ABI credentials, SSH keys, and other secrets, we want to keep those in the cloud's secret manager. And all of the major clouds have secret managers that are typically very low cost for most part, even free to use. In Google Cloud Platform, the secret manager is just called secret manager. And it can be used to store certificates and other types of credentials, even clear text credentials like API keys and other things that otherwise would be easy to discover. To create a secret, we can use either G Cloud Code, Terraform, or even just the console here. So using the console, we clicked on Create Secret, and then we need to give the secret a name. The easiest way to upload it is to upload it as a file, although you can paste the secret in to this field here if you don't want to upload it as a file, and then you choose your policies around rotation, encryption, and so forth. Notice that Google Cloud doesn't actually rotate your secret. It sends you a message telling you that it's time to rotate your secret. So let's do a quick demo. We'll create an SSH key, which would be a common use case if you're doing infrastructure as code in the cloud. So we're going to create a key called demo using SSH key gen, 250 rounds of armoring or encryption. And we're going to create an Edwards key using the type of ED25519. We'll give it a passphrase to protect the key. And now that the key is created, we'll come back over here. We're going to give our secret the name of my key. And we're going to choose the upload file option. So we'll pick our demo key. Notice that the console reads the value and puts it into the field for you, but of course you could have also pasted that in yourself. And we'll go down and hit create secret. And it's going to create secret version number one. So the secret is actually stored in the version, not in the secret itself. Secrets contain versions, versions contain the credentials. If we want to use the credential, we can use it in our Terraform scripts or in gcloud scripts. For example, if we'll open up a cloud shell here, and then now we can access the secret, assuming we have the privileges, of course. So we use the G Cloud Secrets module, and when you want to access a version, we need to drill down to the versions, put the version that we want to access. So we're going to say we're going to access version one, and then we have to pass in the name of the secret itself. We called ours my key. And so normally we would never show anybody what our SSH key is, but of course this is just a demo. So we're gonna save it off into a file called demo.txt. If you didn't save it off, it would just display the key onto the screen. And so now we can look and see the value of the key and we would be able to use that file. For example, if we were gonna SSH into a server, we could just use the dash I option and then pass in demo txt and go on about logging into our server just like we normally would with SSH. So anytime you have API keys or say database credentials, other passwords maybe to FTP servers, always put those inside of your secret manager then you can just access those from your code so that the secret isn't exposed or accidentally uploaded to GitHub or other repositories.